today. I got a tear down I'm gonna do. I received a laptop from my sister-in-law. I'm gonna tear it down to redo the thermal paste and check the internals out. And I'm gonna do a video for it. It's a, let me grab it here. It's actually a pretty nice one, more or less. The issue with it, it has a cracked screen which is pretty much garbage, unfortunately. So I have to use it hooked up to a monitor. But it's a, let me turn it right. It's a Dell Inspiron N7110. It has an i3 2130M processor, four gigs of DDR3 RAM, and a 500 gig hard drive. It has, uses the onboard uh, video from the CPU. Unfortunately, I was, I'd probably keep it for myself, but I have it posted up for sale. I already actually did tear it down, clean it out pretty good, but I'm going to do it again, do a video of it. So, if someone else needs help tearing theirs down, they can see how to do it. Let me get the camera adjusted. Hopefully, I can get it in a good spot. Let me flip this upside down. see if this will work. Uh, let me see if I put it up here. This will work any better. Mm, maybe not. I should have tried this out first. I hope you can hear me over the camera. Oh, I gotta check something. I might have to restart this. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I had to pause it for a few moments. Let's get some light on the subject, shall we? As you can see, I got it flipped upside down already. Ready to go. Let's take my battery out first, of course. To my surprise, I actually took a good charge, which I was really surprised and really happy with. Well, that's it idle. We're going to just running. It, ah, uh, trying to think. It says it has about two hours of runtime. Pretty good. Really surprised me. Let's get a little screwdriver for a moment. Pick up some of this crud. Yeah, this thing's pretty filthy as it is yet. I gotta do a cleanup on it. A better cleanup. I posted it up for sale, like I said. As I have too many systems here as it is. And I need the money to get the parts for my other project I have going on. The water cooling. I still need to get the bracket for the Intel bracket. I don't have the money for it right now. So I'm going to put this up for sale. Hopefully I get the money for it. Well, let's start by taking off the RAM cover. And get this out of the way. Not that. Put that aside. I'm just going to leave the RAM in so I don't lose it and I have to reset it later. I'm just It's not in the way. So I'm going to start taking all the screws out. I go through, loosen them up. I'm using my handy dandy little yellow set. I've taken quite a few uh, laptops apart with this little thing, and it's served me well. I had it probably going on five years, six years, and it's held up well, pretty well. I've got zero issues out of it. Fourteen screws you gotta take out to be able to take the bottom panel off. I start with that, then I take the motherboard, and then you have to you have to take all the screws out. Then I flip it, get the rest of them to drop out of the way. I'm gonna do a little cleaning as I go, of course, best I can. I might have to get a toothbrush out to do some fine cleaning. But like I was saying, I like to go through, loosen them all up first. Then I flip the laptop itself upside down and hopefully they drop out, which is helpful. This thing yeah, is actually a pretty good little performer. But I already have one other laptop I have. And 
I have another tower I use in here right now. That's hooked to the TV 24-7. I like the way that feels. And this is, ooh, yeah. Um, when I put this back together the last time, I missed the screw. Eh, it's around somewhere. I'm not too worried about it. I'm pretty sure I have one in my stash somewhere I can put in it a little later. I've mean, been meaning to do this video for some time now. I just haven't had the, uh, for the past week basically. But I just haven't had the time to do it. As you know, I, as you can tell from some of my other videos, I talk about my boys once in a while. They take up a lot of my time right now. Ting, ting, ting. Uh oh. I was worried about that. Uh, I don't really do a lot of this the proper way. I just wing it. So far that's served me well. But one thing I do really like to try to do is put the screws in the case. And I drop the screw or two on the floor. I'll have to find them here in a second. There's another screw. Found one. I'm pretty sure there's another one on the floor somewhere, so I'll just grab a light. Check the floor. Once it turns on. <laughs> That's the thing about my phone light, it takes a moment to turn on. seem to screw too easily, so I'll have to look for it later. As you can probably tell, I'm just sitting at my computer desk, working on it. It's as good as any place to do this. Normally I'd actually be sitting on the floor to tell you the truth, where I prefer to work on them. Less chance of losing anything. But, for now I'll just sit up here and do it. I have plenty of light. I have more light than I probably really need. I don't need a whole heck of a lot. Well, let's check the holes, see if I got them all. That's what I'm doing right now. I don't like flipping it half a dozen times. I'm trying to find that one screw I missed. Yep, looks like I got them all. I'm going to also take these two little screws out. There's one here, as you can see, and one on here. I like taking, I'm going to take them out this time so I don't have to flip it back and forth when I take the keyboard out. Make it a little easier on myself. Ooh, let's turn it so I can actually see it myself. That'd be helpful. I should have a little music going. camera just glitched out on me. Uh, I gotta figure out what's going on with that here eventually. Oh, I got a screw sitting right on top of my hub. Maybe that's what my problem is. My hub's going wonky. Might have to get a new one. Eventually. As you can tell, everything's going to be eventual because I don't have extra money to spend on this. I don't have my stuff. I gotta use what I got. I gotta take the keyboard out. Looks like you can actually see it fairly well. As you can tell, I got limited room to work with. That's also the other reason why I'm kind of working with this up here. Well, for starters, uh, whereabouts is it? There's little clips along the top. To take the keyboard out. That has to come out first before I can take this panel off. And as you can probably tell, the laptop itself is pretty darn filthy. Well, glitch out again. I might have to do something different if it does it one more time. But, like I was saying, this thing's pretty filthy. I'm going to have to do some cleanup before it gets sold. I have it up for auction on eBay. I don't know if I can actually list a thing for it. I'll have to look that up. I might put a post to it. I don't know. 
also there's a nice crack in the bezel. The bezel's pretty messed up, probably from when it got stepped on. But it's for parts of repair. If someone can use it, they can use it. If not, then not. But yeah, like I was trying to say before, it flipped out on me again. There's four spots we gotta pry up on. I kind of damaged a couple of the spots trying to do this. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do. But if you keep it for yourself, I don't, no real big deal. Oh, okay. But I would have preferred not to have damaged it. It's like I said, I'm selling it. See, it just comes out like that. You got a ribbon cable you got unhooked. There. The back of this could use a good cleanup too. Maybe I'll grab a Lysol wipe or something. I'm not sure what yet. I'll just set this aside. Glad I got plenty of room for setting things aside right now. There. Okay. Next thing you want to do is unhook all these little cables. I made a mistake of not doing that and gonna pull on a little couple too much a couple of times. I kinda cringe at it. That's a good way to break cables. Not a good thing to do. And then oop, I don't need my other driver. I wanna pry out the DVD drive. And I'll show you why in a moment. Let's set this aside. That's actually in decent enough shape. I'm not positive if it works, I'll have to try that all year once I get it back together. Okay, there's four screws on here. There's one here, 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 and here. I hope you can see them, I'm not sure, because of the back of the, uh, let's turn it sideways. Now we can see it. Like I was saying, there's a screw here, a screw here, a screw here, and a screw here. All four of those need to come out to be able to take this panel off. Also, you want to hook each of these three ribbon cables before you take the panel off. If you don't, a good way to break them. Get started on these. Flathead against it and turn it, and it'll come out. So, not exactly what I wanted it, but it worked. Okay, there's that part. Now you close this back down for a moment. You gotta flip it. So you can see, these two screws have to come out. Almost thought I heard my voice for a moment. Uh, sorry about that. I hear my boys moving around. I didn't believe I was downstairs, people. Okay, let's take these two screws out. Let's set one there. Setting these aside elsewhere, because it's the only spot to get used. Hmm, I got a perfect little holder and I didn't even realize it. My lamp. I'm going to put them right in there so I don't lose them. It's like I said, normally I do this on the floor. But today, I'm going to do it up here. This is where I start prying along the edges here. I start to it so I know exactly what I'm pointing at. I start like generally in here somewhere, then work my way around using a little flathead screwdriver. That's all I have. I should really use one of them spongers or spongers or whatever they're called. I need to actually get one. But I don't do this often enough to really make it worth it. I've had, like I said, I've had this part once or twice before, so it's relatively easy. 
Most of the clips are broke already, unfortunately. There. That's how you take that panel off. The keyboard tray and the touchpad. But yeah, I really need to clean that up. The underside of it's not terrible. Could be better. Could be worse. Always could be worse. I'm just glad it's not. Just going to go over the cables a little bit. Ooh, I need to clean that spot up. Well, here's a little bit of an idea on how bad this thing really was when I got it. Yeah, it's not good. Okay, to take the motherboard out. This little daughter board can stay in here. You don't need to take that out to take the motherboard out. I'll show you how to do that here momentarily. I'll leave it sitting like this so I can see that you can see it. Okay, first, unhook the cables. has SRS or, or premium sound, which I just, I haven't really tried it out much yet. I'm going to assume it's pretty good sound. I'll have to try it out when I put it back together. Okay, then I take the hard drive out next. As you can see, it's a Western Digital Scorpio Blue. The only thing I don't like about it personally is it's a 5400 RPM instead of a 7200 RPM. I had the extra money, like I was saying before, I'd put an SSD in this thing, and then, yeah, it would be really nice then. But it is what it is, and like I said, I have it up for sale, so I can get parts for my, uh, tower. Whether wife likes it or not. And this slides, and just, oop, lift up. I'm not sure if you can see the dirt underneath that, but yeah, that's pretty filthy. I'll have to do something about that too. I don't like it. I have to pick up another screw too. I dropped it on accident. Yeah, that's not much better. Take that out, but I'll it a more times. Okay, clean it out. Out some. A little better. Okay, uh, I'm hooking the fan. This has to come up next. Ooh. I'll include you some pictures or I'll make a little video of the screen showing you just how bad it really is. They're about 50 bucks on eBay. From what I can see. But like I said, I don't need another laptop. I should have one that's some ways nicer, some ways not so nice. I have one that has a Core 2 Duo, but it has a HD graphics card instead of the onboard video or the Intel video. Oof. Should have done a little better job cleaning that out. I might have to take this thing out and blow it out again. I might have to take the whole panel out and blow it out. That's what I didn't do last time. So I might just do it this time. Unhook these cables. I have to unhook as many as possible. Some of these are kind of fun to plug back in. I believe. Which one would be which? I think this one is camera and microphone well this one is the power and then this one is the video for the screen well, let's get the screws out so I can get the motherboard out
Video cable. Of course, there's two screws by the fan that need to come out, and there's a screw by the daughter board that needs to come out. I believe that's it. Let's find out, shall we? Okay. This feels about right. Right here, where this hooks on the daughter board, there's two connectors. There's a pry up on it. It comes out really hard, which is probably a good thing. I don't really like it, but yeah, I feel like going to break the darn thing getting it out. And of course, keep it supported so it won't tip backwards. There, motherboard is out. I'm not going to take the heat sink off because I already did the paste. How you take the motherboard out. I'm gonna set this aside and then I'm gonna take this case out and blow it out good again. I just got a can of can air in the other room that I use. So, be right back. Okay, now back to the reassembly. I took this out, spread it off a little bit. Oh, where'd it go? I had a wipe here. Here we go. I'm gonna wipe off the inside a little bit more. I'm just using a baby wipe. Yeah, my two-year-old's still in diapers, but he's slowly working on getting out of them, which is kind of nice. One less expense to worry about. So I'll just take this wipe and wipe this on a little bit. Get some of the excess dust out of it. With any luck. Uh, feel free to leave any comments, questions, or concerns. Bash me all you want. Whatever works for you, I guess. Let's do a little wipe on under this front part too while I'm at it. Let's make this look a little nicer at least. Fairness green's crap anyway, and the bezel's not much better. But it won't hurt to wipe it down a little bit. So it doesn't feel so grody working with it. I'm gonna wipe the I have the board over here. Oh. That's it there. Yeah, let's wipe this off a little bit. Make this look a little nicer. Oh wait, that one quarter is not the power button. I'm sorry. Um not exactly well it might be for backlight lighting. It's always a possibility. But I just realized the power button's on it, right? Right here, which is this ribbon cable here. I'll go straight to the motherboard. I'm sorry. In other words, I'm not really sure what it's for. Or either one of them for until I tear the screen apart, but I don't really want to do that because I'm not changing out the screen itself. So there's no point right now. Not unless someone really needs to see it. See how to take it apart, then I'll take it apart then. Oh, leave in the comments if you'd like me to take the monitor apart or the screen apart so you can see how to do it yourself. As long as I still have it by then. Can't guarantee I will because like I said I have it up for sale so it looks like it's gonna sell. There, this is looking a lot better than what it was. better already. Baby weight might not be the best thing to use, but easy accessible. I'm going to be using a Q-tip and rubbing alcohol or a toothbrush or something along those lines. But this is working for now. So, that's what I'll go with. And let's set this back aside and get the motherboard back in. Well, before 
I throw the back away again? So I back this off a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty beat up. If I just keep it, I'd probably change out the top of this. It is scuffed up pretty good. Just then probably get in the color I'd love for. Black. But as you can see, it shines real nice. You can see me right there. <laughs> I'll take it for now. Okay, let's open it back up. It's very hard. Hinges are good, but I like. It's not sloppy, especially after being stepped on like it was, as far as I can tell. Hinges are still really good, so. That's always a plus. Okay. Check to see all the wires. Time to put it back together. Okay. Brain fart moment. I have a vent thing. I get one top, that one on the bottom. Always make sure your cables are where they need to be. Last time I put it back together, I didn't have the video cable plugged in because I didn't notice it right away. And I had eight long beeps. So if you forget to hook that up and you have eight long beeps, that's why. And of course, no video to the screen. Which is actually kind of annoying because I had it hooked up to my TV anyway. Because like I said, this screen is shattered so you can't see nothing anyhow. what happens when you're getting older. I'm only in my mid-30s, but that's kind of a setting point. And two kids jump on you all day, it kind of does it to you. But I wouldn't trade that for the world, so it's fine. This co this little cable here can be real... Oh, let me get so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, I gotta move it here. Okay, there we go. That's more like it. Yeah. Right now I'm trying to hook this little cable back up. And there was a pain in the butt the last time around, and it's probably going to be a pain again this time around. Just get prepped. There we go. A little easier this time. Let's use the little screwdriver to make sure it's in. That's good. Okay. Now let's get the video cable in so I don't forget it again. I gotta move the board over just a hair. Let's get it lined up now, shall we? Lining this part up back up to the daughter board. Um, don't ask me how to get this out. I'm not really sure. I haven't had it out yet myself. I think I know how to get it out. But like I said, I haven't gotten it out yet. And I have no reason to take it out right now. But if I did, I believe we'd have to take the whole screen off. And then get this little... This, uh, I'm not sure how well you can see it. There's a little bezel piece that covers the back here. That would have to probably come out to get that board out. But the board, board itself works fine, so I'm just going to leave it for now. As you can see, it has a wireless card here. And it has another slot here. What I'd probably use that slot for, if it's compatible, I'm not sure, would be an SSD. A little micro SSD, uh, not micro SSD, but a mini SATA SSD or something like that. I've used it once before, works alright. But I'd probably be a little pickier next time around for the one I pick. The one I did was only about 100 to 200 megabytes a second. Like really freaking slow. And I could feel it when the system was starting up. But it was kind of nice because then you could have a secondary hard drive in here instead of just the one. But I don't know if the system would be compatible with that. But since I don't have one to try it, if I did, I would. Then I might end up keeping it for myself. But I don't need it. 
though. It's going bye bye. Like I keep saying. Hopefully soon. So I'd really like to finish my other project. Okay, I'm gonna start putting the screws in. I'll link uh, my other project to the video that I keep talking about so you can kind of see. Uh, yeah, let's get some of these other connectors hooked up too while I'm at it. So that way I don't forget them. Just hook them up. Maybe get a little tricky sometimes. Not horrible. those ones. You can also slide this back in up here. Right here. I wiped the fan off best I could. I don't really want to put too much work into it. I probably should, but but I did run should have ran it before I did the cleanup and then after to see how much redoing the thermal paste really helped. But as of right now it barely breaks 6 degrees Celsius with fresh thermal paste on it, so must have did something right. That's under Prime 95, which I love using. Of course, it's 64 bit because I got 64 bit OS on here, which is uh, actually Windows 10. Runs it quite well. Get you in here too, so I can put those screws in right away. As you can tell, I have a fair amount of fun doing this kind of stuff. Just relaxing and I just like doing it. But I hope this video helps you out. Oh, hope that, well, at least I hope this video helps somebody out. That's what I'm doing it for. But I'm sure there's somebody out there wondering how that, how in the world to tear this thing apart. Actually, really simple. It took me a little bit to figure it out at first, but I did, and here we are. <sighs> Try not to add any extra fuzz to it. Probably won't put a screw back in up. Uh, yeah, I should probably find one for that. Ooh, I got a couple up in there. One here. Needs it. I don't think I need one there. Across the other two, isn't it? Oh well. Not much I can do about it now. Just want to get this back together and test it out, make sure it still works. I like still have time to cancel it if I guess. Goof this up. Okay. Let me screw that up. I need one for the bottom of it. Maybe I'll take this one back out. I don't think it really needs it because it has one right next to it. So I might have one over here. Okay. Before I grab the main panel. Just check it over. Make sure you didn't forget any cables. Got these in. We have two here, the one here. That's seated nicely. Got the plug for the speaker here. Then you got plug for the other speaker over here. The two main speakers. I believe this is a sub, mini sub. I'm positive. I have to look it up to know for sure. And of course the fans in. The heat sink for the CPU. Still on. The way I cleaned off the CPU and fan and heat sink was with a Q tip and rubbing alcohol. Works really well. Never let me down yet, which is great. Okay, now it's time to put this part back on. Not as bad as it was, but still pretty dirty. Definitely looking better now after wiping it off a little bit. Do a little more. Pop everything back.
back into place as best you can. A lot of clips are already broke because you know, that happens. Unfortunately. Like I said I've taken it apart a couple times. And the other break. Uh, I'm going to press these. Yeah. I had it all together and then I went, oh. I had the eight beeps and yeah. I had to get rid of that because it's really annoying. So I had to tear it back apart. Okay. We've got four empty holes here. I'm going to start with this cable. It doesn't matter which cable you start with. As long as you get all three, these plug back. All three of them plug back in. in the middle of the night when I should be sleeping but like I said I've been wanting to do this video for some time and here I am well at least for the past week since I got this thing just haven't had the time to I was gonna do it last weekend but it was Christmas actually I just got it last Monday night I haven't really had time to do it because between Christmas and working, yeah, not much time. So you might say hi in the video. Mm, sorry, he needs a drink. Well, like a certain Canadian tech always says, it's always good to have water on hand when you're doing videos. Very good, uh, Advice. Needless to say. So I actually have been sick the last few days. Okay, let's put these four screws in. As you can tell, I haven't put the DVD drive in yet. It doesn't necessarily need to go in at this step because the screw four goes in underneath anyway. So just get these in. And you don't want to put it in just yet because I'll throw you again. There's still two screws I got to put in on the other side before I can put that in. Let's double check, make sure everything's popped into place. And put the keyboard in. And make sure you put this in right too. The last time I put it in, I had this ribbon cable upside down like that. Does not work. I don't remember how to do this. I want to set this up here so the keyboard is facing the screen, and you want the blue facing up towards the light or towards the yeah the latch. Then you want the metal contact. Let's use this. And you want these little metal contacts to touch the wires on the board, so that way makes contact and you can use a keyboard. And it's like some people just use an external one anyway, which right now is about the best way to use it. Make sure it's seated well, there's a little tug, nothing too extreme. And just slide these little tabbies and the holes that are along the bottom here and just push down. Pop it back into place, like so. There's the top part. Now back to now the, the flip it. Grab these little guys first. I got those two little screws. There and there. They go back in here first. Grab the 
DVD drive, which is right here. So DVD RW, CD burner, and DVD ROM drive, multi recorder, RW multi recorder, and a CD burner. But who burns D uh, CDs anymore? Heck, who can burn DVDs half the time anymore? do from time to time, but mostly just OS's to disk. First thing I do is populate all these little holes. I hope I didn't lose any screws in the way. Find out. I hope I don't end up with any extra screws. No one have that happen too, which I think I'm going to this time around. Which will be spreading. Maybe not. Because I'll have just the right amount. Which is what it's looking like. I guess I don't necessarily have to take off the RAM cover, but I do anyhow, just to get it out of the way. I'm gonna put these two little screws in the back underneath the battery first. I don't forget them. Sometimes the screws don't like to go in very well. Or maybe I don't have one in that hole. Should have. Check it in a second. Let's get the rest of them in first. I need back three, back or back six screws only holding the back tab anyway, so I don't worry about it too much. Oh, I'm missing two screws. Huh, whoops. I dropped one on the floor, so I'll just take one from here. Oh, wrong driver. A bigger one. Tear it back apart. <sighs> I want to though. Where did that screw go to? I should have picked it up right away. There it is. It's a chain in there. garbage but hard to say there might even be a screw in there somewhere I dropped I don't know how or why there is one
that's basically how you put it back together. That's how you tear the this inspiring apart at the N7110. It's the model number P14E. That's how you tear it apart and put it back together. Hope the video helps you out. Leave in the comments if it does. If it doesn't, let me know. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, if you want, you can just uh, subscribe. And I, could, I have another laptop I can show you quick that I can tear apart if you need help with that. I can make a video on it. It's the uh, older Dell, but it's actually a really nice one. I'll grab it here quick. I'm going to have to tear this one back apart. Uh, verify I didn't screw something up before I try powering it on. Here's the other Dell I have. If you need a, a video of how to tear it apart, let me know. I completely rebuilt this one from scratch out of parts and a uh, cardboard box. Basically picked out the best pieces from it. Dell, it's actually a fairly nice one. It's a Dell Studio. I'll have to flip it to find out the uh, model number. This one actually runs really well. It says it only has a Pentium and it's for Vista, but I loaded 7 on it. And it has a Core 2 Duo in it. I can make a video on tearing this apart for you if you need to. Leave that in the comments if you'd like. It's the Dell Studio model number PP31L Studio 1737. This one actually comes apart really nice. I could do this one too if you need it. Battery's holding an excellent charge, which I'm glad for. Uh, so yeah, leave in the comments if you need. We'd like to see that. That's for another day though. For now, I gotta work on the other one. There we go. Well, let's move this back down for now. I'd just like to say thank you for watching. Uh, like I said, leave in the comments any questions, comments, concerns. If you like it, dislike it, whatever works for you.